Hey there, give me one second. The movie is about to finish. Woo! That was amazing! Hello, family. Welcome to today's episode of What's That, Mr. Pat? You're probably wondering, what happened to my glasses? Or why am I in a movie theater? To prepare for today's episode, I went out to watch a 3D movie. A type of movie where people jump out at the screen. Because today, we're talking about how they work. Let's start all the way back to the beginning with the moon landing. Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. Well, not exactly. It all started with this woman, NASA physicist Valerie Thomas. Valerie Thomas was famous for her help putting the first man on the moon. But she also invented the first 3D viewing device called an Illusion Transmitter. Sounds creepy, don't it? To understand how it works, let's try this. Look at a nearby object and close one of your eyes. Then switch which eye is closed. The object looks slightly different from each eye. Our brain takes the different images from each of our eyes and combines them into a single image with... Drum roll, please. Yeah. Valerie Thomas figured out that you can trick the brain into seeing a 3D image if you overlap two slightly different pictures over each other. The Illusion Transmitter was made of a big curved mirror, kind of like a spoon. When pictures were projected onto the mirrors, they were reflected onto a single point. These images would combine into a single 3D image. This technology is still used in fields like surgery, but 3D movies work a little differently. The secret to how 3D movies work are in these glasses that I'm wearing right now. Check out the stunner shades. When you watch a 3D movie, you will probably be given a pair of 3D glasses. Some of them look like this with red and blue lenses. You can only see the 3D with the glasses on. That's because there are actually two movies playing at the same time. One in red and one in blue. The lenses on your glasses each filter one of the colors. Blue makes the blue video invisible and red makes the red video invisible. That way, each of your eyes sees a different picture when your brain combines them and you have a 3D movie. What? Sometimes you'll get these glasses. Hey, it's dark inside the movie theater. Why do I have to wear sunglasses? Well, actually, these are not sunglasses. These are polarized 3D glasses. Each lens has tiny little blinds, like the ones you may have on your windows. These blinds direct the light into facing a certain way. One of the lenses directs light up and down or vertically, and the other directs light left and right or horizontally. You're actually seeing two movies, one vertical and one horizontal, but each eye gets a different movie, so you get 3D. Oh, I think I'm gonna get sick. Sometimes you don't even need glasses to see a 3D video. The 3DS has a polarized screen, which means it has the blinds on its screen. The blinds angle the light into the sweet spot, which is where your head is. And Mr. Pat got a big old head. 3D TVs work the same way. In fact, these polarized screens are now being used for cool things like car screens that show directions to the driver and a movie to the passenger. Ooh wee, just what I was waiting for. The stereographer. They're the ones who make 3D movies possible. A stereographer is in charge of making a movie pop. They use special camera setups like this one. It uses two cameras and a mirror to record two videos at once. Sometimes a stereographer will have to make a movie in 3D after the video was recorded. They use a technique called death braiding to tell the computer what the movie should look like in 3D. Hey, maybe one day you can be a stereographer and work on a 3D movie as well. Well, that's it for today's episode. Maybe try checking out one of your favorite movies in 3D. 
Until next time, it's Mr. Pat. Peace.